Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, it's week four of the NFL. And if your back is sore from raking leaves or cleaning out the gutters, we've got something much better than a heating pad. Football. Lots of good, hard football here on ESPN. Detroit Lions. Green Bay Packers. Now. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hi folks, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to historic Lambeau Field. By my side is football guru Peter O'Keefe. How do you like that, huh? I love it. Peter, when you look at the rosters, both teams boast skilled tight ends. That's right, Dan. These guys are both excellent football players and are important cogs in their team's offensive effort. Pettigrew is a very proficient tight end. He's got a lot of strengths, but one thing that impresses me about him is the way he holds onto that football. It's an important skill to have, Dan, when you consider how many fumbles can destroy a team's season. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Finlay is a very gifted receiver. He possesses prodigious speed for his position, which helps him in all aspects of the game, but particularly when running routes. I tell you what, Dan, both these guys have potential to light it up today. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. Heads it is. All right, Dan. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Packers are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Donald Duke and the driver came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 50-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Packers midway through the first, ball at their own 43. Number 26 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Lions towards the end of the first quarter. Lions trailing by seven. Jason Lookman, no Hansen, sets up with a little chip shot, and this one is no problem. They climb back into the game, now down by four. The Packers middle of the second, number 12, would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That 26-yard play that set up a Packer touchdown. Packers leading 14-3. Number 20 would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers are up at the half, 14 to three. And now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Donald Duke and the driver has played like a man possessed. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Williams was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Packers back at it after their D made a stop in the red zone. The ball at the 21. Number 12 would find his target on this one. An 11 yard touchdown for the Packers. Lions back by 18. Johnson had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. The Lions again have it. Jason Lookman, no Hanson, is called upon to attempt the field goal. This one, good. A 43-yard field goal. Lions behind, 21 to six. After driving three yards on three plays, number two is gonna try to dial one in from very long distance. Plenty of leg to it though. It's good. A 54-yard field goal. The Packers move ahead big and now lead by 18. Number 37 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position 
to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers come away with a win, 24 to six. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number 12 is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You transcended the competition today, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What put you guys over the top? Man, I think that our linebackers are the spark plugs for the whole team. Nobody wants to win more than those guys, and they put their bodies on the line every down for the good of the team. And they should get a lot of credit for this win. Chris, back to you. Thanks for watching the NFL on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.